Rabbits. Small creatures which look like two-toothed cousin who wants to play on your computer. They stole almost whole fame from Raymond. Somebody can know them from TV who was watching cartoons in Nickelodeon around 2013 or 2014, Rabbit's Invasion. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel for Raymond Conant. Let's start from the beginning. Raymond Raving Rabbits This is the game that introduced the rabbits to the gaming world. It was initially conceived as a spin-off of the Raymond series but quickly became its own franchise. The game features a collection of minigames where players must complete various challenges and tasks, often involving the unpredictable and humorous behavior of the rabbits. Raymond Raving Rabbits 2 This sequel continued the minigame format, with new challenges, costumes, and settings. It retained the rabbits' trademark humor and craziness. Raymond Raving Rabbit's TV Party This installment introduced the use of the Wii Balance Board and focused on party games that were themed around television shows and channels. The Rabbids interacted with various TV scenarios, adding a unique twist to the gameplay. Rabbids Go Home Departing from the Mini Dash, game format, this game featured the Rabbids on a mission to collect human junk to build a tower to the moon. It was more of a traditional platforming adventure and had a stronger emphasis on storytelling. Rabbids Alive and Kicking Released for the Xbox 360 Kinect, this game brought the rabbits into the world of motion-controlled gaming. Players could interact with the rabbits in augmented reality scenarios and engage in a variety of wacky activities. Rabbids Land this game was released for the Wii U and featured a virtual board game format where players competed against each other in a series of mini-games and challenges set in a theme park created by the Rabbids. Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle This is a notable crossover game featuring the Rabbids and Nintendo's iconic Mario characters. It's a tactical turn-based strategy game where players form teams of characters from both franchises and battle through various levels filled with strategic challenges and humor. Aeon There Comes Mario Plus Rabbids, Sparks of Hope Game made by Nintendo in cooperation with Ubisoft. I will talk only about third DLC. Exactly, appearance of our hero. Raymond. He looks very impressive. But these eyebrows. Please. He never had them. The worst thing is that Raymond is a DLC next to Rabbids. That would be different reaction if these characters were a separate games. In my opinion that would be much bigger hype when this DLC came out. I know that a lot of people like rabbits, but Ubi appreciates them because of you know. In 2020 when Raymond's father Michel and Cell left Ubi, they almost forgot about him. In fact already 7 years have passed from last Raymond game. My last thoughts about rabbits. They deserves recognition that they have. Ubisoft should have made totally separate new game series about rabbits and then do a cooperation with Nintendo. Imagine that hype. What is your opinion about rabbits and what do you think about them? Let me know in the comments.